Yahweh, he, he declared Yahweh's visions. This is some heavy, heavy, I mean, we sing it all the time. Look at verse 6. As the valleys there are spread out as the gardens by the riverside, as the eighteen of aloes that Yahweh has planted, a cedar eighteen beside the Mayim, he will pour. Here comes another prophecy. That was one, verse five. Oh, how lovely are your tents. They're talking about the kingdom and the tabernacle and the tribes of Israel restored to twelve tribes, large families of patriarchal living. Verse seven. He will pour out Mayim out of his buckets. That's what? The holy what? Spirit. Notice. And his seed, Israel Zerah, will be in many waters, meaning what? Many nations. And his Melech, his king, who's the king, Yeshua, will be higher than King Agag. And his Malchut, the kingdom of Israel, will be exalted. Notice. He will what? Pour out his, his water, spirit. Israel's seeds will be in the nations, in the diaspora, when his seed, when his water, his Holy Spirit is poured out. They will be regathered into a kingdom that shall be exalted. There's another prophecy. Verse 8. Ale brought him out of Mitzrayim. He has, as it were, the strength of a wild ox. He will eat up all the other nations that are his enemies. He will break their bones, pierce them through with arrows. That's talking about Israel's military power of the latter-day Israelite nations like Britain, the United States, Australia, all the Western nations that became primarily Israelite nations, military prowess. He couched, he lay down as a lion. Who shall stir him up? Oh, wow. Blessed is he that blesses you. Cursed is he that curses you. And Balak's anger was lit now against Balaam for sure. He smote his hands together. And Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies. And look, you continue to bless them three times. Therefore flee from, to your place. I sought to promote you to great honor. But see, Yahweh has kept you back from honor. Oh, wow. That lying devil. When he can't get you to do what he wants, he will mm -hmm. accuse Yahweh. See? Mm -hmm. He will accuse. Look, Yahweh has kept you back from honor. If you'd only take that book off the market, if you'd only if you'd only change your ways, if you'd only give up and listen to your husband, listen to your family, listen to the pressure, and look what serving Yahweh has done. It's kept you back. You could have had a career. You could be an executive with Walmart or Kmart. And now look, you're still a laborer, and you're still struggling. Yahweh, your Yahweh and his Torah have kept you back from honor. When you hear that, guys, you're listening. You're hearing the voice of the devil. Verse 12, and Balaam said to Balak, did I not speak to your messengers whom you sent to me, saying, if Balak would give me his baith full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the command of Yahweh to do either tov or bad in my own mind, but what Yahweh says, I will speak. Amen. Now see, I will go to my people, meaning I'm going to die and come there for you, and I will make it worse for you, and now I will prophesy what will be for Israel in the latter days. You think you got it bad now, Bubba? And you think it was bad about the Mashiach and righteousness and the kingdom and Israel's seed being in many nations and Israel destroying all their enemies. You think that was bad. Stay put. I'm going to make it worse. Yes. <laughs> you talk, Balaam has some incredible <coughs> stuff, man. I mean, incredible. I don't think how you could just cast this guy out as a nut. His problem was confusion. Coming and going, he wasn't sure, back and forth. But once he got plugged in, once he got plugged, and that's the enemy, he doesn't want you to be plugged in. Exactly. He knows when you get plugged in, you're going to be blessed. Mm -hmm. He wants to keep pulling you out of that plug in the wall. Listen. All right. What verse are we on? 16, 15, 14, yeah. 15. And he took up his Mishle, his proverb, and said, Balaam, he's on by himself. He said, now I'm going to hit you with the finale, with the knockout punch. <laughs> Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes have been opened, that's himself, has said, he who has heard the words of Elohim and seen Yeshua when he tried to stop the donkey, has said, know the da'at, the knowledge of the Most High, and he saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, having his eyes open. Now here it comes. End of the story. Verse 17. I shall see him. First he says, I'm going to die. Look at verse 14. Balaam said, I won't see it because I'm going to go to my people. Look at verse 14. I'm going to go, go to my people and I'm going to finish with the, this prophecy and I'm going to go back to the camp of Israel. Notice, I will see him but not now. I will see him but not near. There will come a Kohav, a star out of Yaakov, oh, wow. and a scepter will rise out of Israel yeah. and smite the corners of Moab and destroy the children of Seth. And Edom will be a possession, Seir will be a possession, all of Israel's enemies, and Israel will do valiantly. Notice, that is the star of Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir. That is a star showing that the leader in Israel who will take the scepter, for the scepter will not depart from Judah, and a lawgiver from between his feet, Genesis 49, 10, until Shiloh has come, and to him shall the gathering of Israel back from the nations be. That's what Yeshua's blood has done. He's taken you back from the nations and back from all these weird cultures that our fathers got themselves into. So watch. This is the star, the prophecy of the star of Bethlehem. The Kochav. A star, a Kochav, will come out of Jacob. The scepter will come out of Jacob. He will, And what will this Messiah, this star of Bethlehem do? He will smite Moab, Edom. Who is Edom, Moab? The Muslims, the end-time Arabic peoples who have adopted the faith of Allah. Mm -hmm. Verse 19. Out of Yaakov he will come that shall have dominion and destroy the remains of the city, meaning those, those Muslim cities. And he, and he looked on Amalek, verse 20, and took up this Mishle, this proverb. Amalek was the first, the head of the nations, but in the latter end, in the latter days, he will perish, lay along by it. Amalek will perish. Edom will perish. Sheth will perish. The Muslim nations will perish because of the star of Bethlehem. I won't see him, but he'll come out of Jacob, and he'll rise out of Israel. He looked on, Ken, on the Canaanites, verse 21, and took up this Mishle and said, Strong is your dwelling, Canaan, and put your, net, your nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Canaanites will be wasted. Assyria, Ashur, will take you captive. Israel will come into the promised land, but even after Israel comes into the promised land, the ten northern tribes will be taken captive by the Assyrians. He predicted the Ephraimite dispersion, listen, 800 years before yes. it happened. Wow. Balaam predicted the Ephraimite dispersion by Assyria 800 years before it happened. Mm. Now you tell me this is not floating your boat. Mm. What prophecies? End time amazing prophecies from today's Parsha. Wow. Verse 23, and he finished his Mishle and said this, when he realized all these things that had come out of his mouth. Oi! <laughs> Who can live and survive when Elohim imposes this judgment on Islam? Ashur, Moab, Amalek, Haman was an Amalekite, Hitler was an Amalekite. That's what happens when you disobey Yahweh. Oh, it's no big deal, he'll forgive. Yeah, he'll forgive, but there are consequences. Mm -hmm. Hitler was a consequence of King Saul not destroying the Agagites in 1 Samuel 15. Mm -hmm. wow. There would never have been a Hitler if King Saul had obeyed Yahweh. Verse 24. And ships shall come. Don't miss this now. We've had 20 prophecies, amazing wow. stuff. We close with this. And ships shall come from the coast of Chitim. Chitim are the western nations. That's the U.S., us. Canada, the oh, U.K. Man. And will afflict the Assyrians, meaning the anti-Assyrian, the anti-Messiah Muhammad, the Muhammad, the anti-Messiah, who will come from Assyria, Babylon, it's all the same place, mm -hmm. Turkey. And he will afflict the other bank, both banks of the Euphrates, where, which was ancient and modern Babylon, mm -hmm. as well. And they, Assyria, will also perish, meaning... The ones who took Ephraim will perish when the king returns. The Canaanites who occupy the land of Israel will all perish. The Edomites, the Ed all these Arabic Muslim nations will perish forever. And verse 25, Balaam rose up, returned to his people, and Balak went bye-bye. <laughs> so what do we learn? Resist the devil steadfast in the faith, and he will flee. You're not going to resist him talking to your daughter on the phone for 20 hours, and talking to your mama for 15 hours, and trying to ask your wife or your husband how you should go and what direction you should go. Resist the devil steadfast in the faith, and then he will flee. Amen. Amen. So how do we get faith? Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word. We love you. Shabbat shalom.